Hello there. This is Welch. ASMR. ASMR channel where I learn the languages of Scandinavia and Finland and do lots of map videos and fact videos and history videos. I am going to do slightly different takes. I've done lots of map videos, just looking at maps and reading places out. This time I'm going to read some facts about each place. We're going to start off with Vasa. Then we're going to do Okay, I hope you like the concept of the video and if your city or town wasn't mentioned in today's video then do drop me a comment and encourage me to do it in the next part of this series, okay? Okay, you ready? This video should be super relaxing and informative and hopefully you'll enjoy it. Vasa city in Finland. Vasa, in the years 1855 to 1917, as Nikolai Kaupunki, is a city on the west coast of Finland. Yeah, this is the west coast. And the east coast of Sweden over here. It received its charter in 1606. During the reign of Charles the Ninth of Sweden, and is named after the royal house of Vasa. Vasa has a population of sixty-eight thousand five hundred and eighty people. Sixty-eight thousand five hundred and eighty, and is the regional capital of Ostrobothnia, which name in Latin I think means the east. Okay, so that is Vasa, and here is Umeå. Umeå. Someone told me in a comment on this channel that sometimes you don't pronounce the or for these places, like Lule or you say Lule, Ume. Is that right? It is a city in eastern Sweden known for its museums and cultural institutions. The Vestabortens Museum has an open-air section with historical buildings from around the county. Its indoor area features exhibits on the indigenous Sami people and traditional skiing techniques. Sounds cool. An extensive guitar collection is showcased at Guitars, the museum, which also has live performances and a restaurant. Apparently it was settled about 401 years ago. Yeah, it's founded in 1622 with an area of 34 kilometers squared. That's Ume or Umeå. Let's travel on the coast of Finland. Actually, we should look at Christian Kaupunki, Christian Stad, just here. I just realised I said it wrong. It's not Christian. It's Christina and Kaupunki. Christina Stad. Only two chances to get it right there. <laughs> two different languages. Uh, Christina Stad is a town and municipality in Finland. It is located on the western part of Finland, on the shore of the Bothnian Sea. Golf de Bothnia. Bothnia. Why is it in Spanish? Pot niska vikan po jan lahti botten havet. The population is 
composition of Christina Stardis, 6,252. in the region of Ostrobothnia as well, in the sub-region of Supo Jan Raniko Seutu. Let's go over to Sundsvall. I will be making my way in a second to Denmark and Norway, so don't turn off if you're from those countries as well. Okay, Sundsvall. So, Sundsvall is a city and the seat of Sundsvall municipality in Fester Norland, County, Sweden. You can see it's near Hernosand, Kramfors, and Hudiksvall. Uh, it has a population of 58,807 as of 2020. 58,807. More than 95,000 people live in the municipal area. It is Sweden's 21st largest city by population. Sundsvall is also known as Stenstan, meaning stone city. in Finland and then we'll swap to the other side and take a look at Norway and Denmark a little bit more. Okay, let's look at Pori in Swedish it's Björnebo. Pori, Pori. Okay, Pori, Pori is a city and municipality on the west coast of Finland. The city is located some 10 kilometers from the Gulf of Bothnia on the estuary of the Kokemeki River. Kokemeki, it's a nice one. It's quite a good ASMR word. Kokemeki, Kokemeki. Uh, 110 kilometers west of Tampere. Forty kilometers north of Turku and two hundred and forty one kilometers northwest of Helsinki a long way. Over here, which is the capital of Finland. Its land area is eight hundred and thirty four kilometers squared, and population is eighty three thousand eight hundred and nine as of the thirty first of July twenty twenty. That was 83,809 people. And apparently, the, currently the weather is minus one degree Celsius. Okay. I'll turn the map over. We can see. east coast of Sweden here, and the southern tips of Norway. Actually, Norway stops there. Let's look at Kristiansand. Kristiansand. Kristiansand is a city in southern Norway. It's old town, Bosebyen, features traditional wooden houses. Next to Grimstar, Grimstar, Arendal. Oh, like in the Disney movie Frozen, it's now called Arendal and Mandal. It is based in Norway, isn't it? That film. Um, in the center, Neo Gothic Christiansand Cathedral, where um, is near the Sjölandets Museum which displays Norwegian art from 1800 to today. 
The southeastern shoreline includes the Bustranda city beach, the 17th century Christian Orm fortress rotunda, and Fiskebrugge quay, lined with fishmongers selling their catch. Its population, as of 2014, this was a while ago, is 85,983, with a metro population of 155,648, and an area of 277 kilometers squared. We'll take a look at Denmark. Let's start off with the obvious choice in the north here, Arbo. I think it must be the largest city in this northern tip. And then Arish is just down there, which is also a very large city. Randes is just here as well. Rande, Skiwa, Tiste, Brundesleu, Uring, Fredrikshavn. Arbo is a city in the Jutland region of Denmark. It's known for its revitalized waterfront. That waterfront is on the Limfjö, the body of water that cuts through Jutland. Also notable are the Arbo Haunebau. Outdoor pool exhibitions at the Utzon Center and concerts at the Futuristic House of Music. Nearby is the 16th century half timbered Albohus Castle. The Albor Historical Museum tells the city's 1,000 year history. Show offs. Area 50,000 kilometers squared, elevation only 55 meters above sea, but population 211,684. Very, very large city in Sweden. It's Sweden's second city, I believe. So in English, Gothenburg. Gothenburg is a major city in Sweden. It is situated off the Göta Elf River. On the country's west coast, an important seaport. It's known for its Dutch style canals, I'd like it then, and leafy boulevards like the Avenue, the city's main thoroughfare, or thoroughfare, lined with many cafes and shops. Lisebert is a popular amusement park with theme. performance venues, and a landscaped sculpture garden. It was founded about 402 years ago, in 1621, and the area it takes up is 447 kilometers squared. Stavanger 
is a city in southwestern Norway, in the centre of town. Stavanger Cathedral dates back to the city's 12th century founding. Stavanger Museum chronicles the city's history and displays preserved wildlife. The Norwegian Petroleum Museum illuminates the oil industry with submersibles, a large drill and an escape chute. Shopping Street, Oeuvre, Holmegate, Holmegate, is known for its colourful houses. Area 71 kilometres squared, population 130,000. That's from two, uh, 2014 again. The metro population, however, is 319,800.